So now we'll work on problem 29 from chapter 5. In this problem, uh, we're told to write the Lewis structure for four different molecules. So in part A, we're given SF2. So the first step here will be to assign, to count the number of valence electrons. We have uh, six from sulfur and 14 total from fluorine, so we have 20 total valence electrons. Fluorine, we know, will typically only form one bond, so we put sulfur centrally. Uh, and then we, which bonding fluorine to sulfur takes up four electrons. So we add in six more electrons to each fluorine, which gives us a total of 16 electrons. And then we need four left to assign, so we give them to the central atom, sulfur. And that is the completed uh, Lewis structure. So in part B, we're given SIH4. Here, uh, silicone has four valence electrons, and we're going to have a total of four valence electrons from the four hydrogen atoms, so eight valence electrons. Silicone will be central because hydrogen only forms one bond. We surround it with the hydrogen atoms that consumes all the eight electrons, and each uh, atom has its valence shell filled. In part C, uh, we're given HCOOH. This is written in a sort of a unusual way. And it's done that way to show us how the bonding occurs. So we have uh, four electrons from carbon, 12 from oxygen, and two uh, from hydrogen. So we have a total of 18 valence electrons for this compound. So this carbon here will be bound to an oxygen and an oxygen, hydrogen, and hydrogen. We get that, we can see that this, this skeleton just based on the way that they write the molecule. So this here has consumed uh, one, two, three, four, four bonds or eight electrons. So we have 10 left to assign. So hydrogen is satisfied. It, both of them have two electrons. So we give two electrons uh, to oxygen, and then we assign the rest to oxygen, or to the other oxygen atom. Now, we added here 10 electrons. So this looks uh, good, except we realize that carbon does not have eight electrons. So what's going to be necessary to do is we're going to have to share electrons between the oxygen and the carbon. So instead of having six lone, three lone pairs on the oxygen atom, we have a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen. And that is the stable Lewis structure. In part D, we're given CH3SH. And we're told that the carbon and sulfur are central. So what we need to do is first count the valence electrons. We have four from carbon, six from sulfur, and then four from hydrogen. So we have 14 valence electrons. So we have carbon bound to sulfur. And we have to assign these four hydrogens based on the way that the structures are in. Three will go to carbon and one to sulfur. That gives us, uh, that takes up five bonds or 10 electrons. So we have four left to assign and carbon is has an octet, but sulfur does not. So we give four electrons to sulfur and the Lewis structure is complete.